Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, January 5th, 2018. Another special edition of Coffee Time. We're liking these more and more. Our little get together here with you in the AM in the new year of 2019. And we got a few topics to cover off this morning, which will clear the decks for the regular coffee time Sunday, tomorrow, and then of course Monday is my uh, my surgery day. So today I want to cover off. There's four different topics I want to uh, cover off. First and first, most importantly, Jen and I want to extend our grateful thanks to Dave and Becca for the kindness. Uh, in meeting them, it wasn't something that uh, it's kind of amazing when you look at it. It's something that split the community right down the middle. And luckily, the bulk of the people were uh, of the mind that what happens on YouTube is one thing, and of course, it is an important thing. But real life is, you know, is to something totally <clears throat> uh, separate. Yes, right. sometimes they overlap. Sometimes YouTube is often happened to us over the years. YouTube will bleed into real life and in a painful way. And we were decided, Missy Jen and I talked long and hard about the situation. And we always believe in constructive engagement as the best way forward. Absolutely. And uh, although I don't expect much will change in the world of YouTube... We at least feel better for have made, made the effort to meet and to get together, shake hands, look at somebody eye and eye, and discuss our thoughts, our community's thoughts, and to hear their feedback, Dave and Becca's feedback too. Then once that's over, to enjoy... A, per, a couple coming to town to have a visit. That's what we did. And uh, last evening I was happy to have Missy Jen. Uh, as I said, she really wanted to go along Friday night, but I didn't think, you know, based on what may or may not happen in my mind, my thinking, I thought better to just clear the way first and then for Saturday to have a, uh, hopefully a good meetup if it was come to pass. If not, well, we tried. And luckily, things worked out pretty good, and a lot of people enjoyed uh, enjoyed the experience along with us. <clears throat> Understanding a lot of people don't approve it, and we respect you too, but we have to make our own decisions in life and move forward on our own. And that's exactly what we decided at yep. the end of the day. So, good experience. Very good experience. Good hospitality <clears throat> yep. last night. Number two, meeting Sean the Brit last night. Very nice, very unassuming, very down-to-earth person who, um, obviously, Missy Jen, I don't, I'm not going to go into personal things, but this person lives in a house of pain on a daily basis, a house of terrific physical pain. <clears throat> And it also meant a lot to Missy Jen and I, although we weren't the object of his meetup, Dave the Fisherman and Dave's wife Becca were, we were also happy that he took the time to go through Friday afternoon traffic to come down and meet not only Dave and his wife, but also Missy Jen and I. Very grateful for that. A person with great spirit that's obviously in a lot of agony a lot of time, sitting down, trying to get comfortable with terrific back problems that have been disclosed to others. On, you know, it's, it's we're not letting anything new out of the bag. He copes and deals with that. So for somebody like that to make the effort to, uh, to come down, speaks volumes <clears throat> yeah. about the kind of person that he is too and sean the brit we really enjoyed meeting you that's a great great pleasure great 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 pleasure to and an honor to meet you looked like he could be on a rugby sevens team there big uh, big burly kind of guy nice guy fairly well hardy 
fairly well kind of chap, as they might say in the UK. Third topic, some things you just want to shake your head in a hangout. Yes, they're hosting a hangout, and somebody comes through and says, a good friend of mine, Cooper, has been involved in a terrific car accident and is uh, hospitalized with major injuries. Unbelievable. And for those first couple five minutes, you sit there and wonder, wow, is that true or not? And then people begin to post, I just saw Cooper on a, you know, I just talked to him a little while ago. It wasn't something like that. He had something going on with dentists. But just the fact that something like that could be posted. <clears throat> Pretty pathetic. So I did communicate with him this morning and all is well besides some dental issues and all that. So <clears throat> you just, uh, you know, wow. All I can say is wow. The last thing I want to talk about is the power of the people. This morning and last night, I had uh, a late hangout. I was happy to welcome Narse to my panel. I had not seen Narse, or, nor did I had him on my panel for a long time. I took the I took the opportunity to thank Narse. Wished him a, a happy New Year on behalf of Missy Jen and I, and then we welcomed somebody else to the chat. Well. You never know which direction chats are really going to go. You never know. Sometimes they take a, on a life of their own. And this particular chat did. And when various people had stated that this particular person should take the opportunity to turn, turn positive and move in a positive direction. And be a nice person going forward and, and to just turn that canoe around and go downstream instead of paddling upstream. Well, some things happen. This person's getting some bad advice. See, you can't, this person is a nice person inside. I mean, they're, they are a nice person, a sweet person, and their basic nature is to be a nice person unless alcohol is involved. And then it's a, like a Jekyll and Hyde situation. You've, you lived with somebody for years. <clears throat> yeah. You know, alcoholic and raging, unpredictable, hothead. And you just dreaded, as the beers went down, you just dreaded. Just waiting for the next... Wait for the explosion. Event horizon to uh, uh, occur. Yeah. No way to live life. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, you're thinking back. It's like a different era for you. But you lived through that. <clears throat> but the point is, I think this person's gotten some bad, bad advice. And the bad advice is to try to be like another member of the community with a big mouth and wanting to collect taxes and stuff like that. Cause some get bad advice that you should be like that person because you got a mouthpiece on you in life and you got to use it. People don't want to hear you play music. Put down the guitar and use your mouthpiece. Well, to my way of thinking, this advice is wrong because it goes against this person's basic nature. So you're trying to, once again, you've decided to turn your canoe upstream, paddle against the tide, against the current, until you're finally all worn out. And last night, in response to this person's bombastic you know, outlandish behavior and, uh, you know, Narse was driven off of my panel. 
there started a strange and sudden movement to unsub this person that just caught fire. Now I can tell you, I've been through these myself the last few days. Quite a few people, uh, not quite a few, uh, you know, four or five people wrote me and unsub my channel. So I know what, uh, I know what can happen out there. But when your behavior is such that it becomes overwhelmingly obvious for all to see in a negative way, action, reaction can be fast and furious. And as a result of last night and I guess uh, uh, building up of forces behind a dam of anger, people took concerted action last night. And this is a person that uh, wanted to get the subs over a thousand to potentially get monetized. And in the space of two hours, three hours overnight, lost 12%. Lost over 72 subscribers in, off of a pretty small base. Chairman Mao, and I'll just leave you with this thought. Chairman Mao did a lot of things wrong in communist China. And I'll remind people, I spent five years in China soon after Tiananmen Square when Westerners were first allowed back in, in that period. So I observed very closely the tail end of communism, strong communism, work groups, Organized work housing units, morning, waking up in a crappy hotel, and it's 6 a.m. here in those loudspeakers. Tong Zhiman, Chilai, Shen Zai Go Zhou Gong, Sun Bei Zhou Gong, Jin Tian Shi Iga Han Hao Da Tian. Good morning, comrades. It's a great day. It's time to get up and go to work. Go to work. Startling when you first, you know, I guess got so used to this over the years. But the one thing that I learned was there was a society where men and women were treated with absolute equivalency. Why? Because Chairman Mao decreed after thousands of years of women having their feet bound and, and uh, being subservient to men, the one strongest wedge, the one strongest force that the communist revolution brought to bear was the equalization of women in society by the communist party. The feudalistic, paternalistic system of the Nationalist Chinese Party, founded by Sun Yat-sen and carried through to Chiang Kai-shek until he fled to Taiwan in 1949. One of the strongest forces that propelled them towards communism in some ideal of equality was Chairman Mao's proclamation that women hold up half the sky. Which is true enough when you think about it. This is not 800 AD. This is not 1400 AD. This is not 1700 AD. This is not 1900. This is 2019. Women do indeed hold up half the sky, and you better treat them with respect. Turn your canoe around and paddle downstream with the current. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Saturday to you. Have a wonderful day. Probably be working in a workshop today, but we'll be around.
Wish you all, hope your uh, 2019 is off <clears throat> to a great start. Thanks, Missy Jen, for being in this morning. My pleasure.